uh, tariffs. Um, we may have another round of tariffs going on in Mexico regarding immigration. But um, I think to take it back a step is really important is that um, tariffs are a real problem right now in Wisconsin, much less any additional tariffs. So um, the, I think the president in many ways won uh, Wisconsin by talking tough about trade, by saying we're going to bring jobs back. And a lot of people wanted to hear that because we've lost a lot of jobs due to bad trade deals over the years. The problem is that rhetoric in how the president is actually executing trade uh, couldn't be farther apart. Um, he doesn't have a coherent trade policy. He's throwing tariffs uh, like some people throw spaghetti on the wall, hoping something will stick. But it doesn't make any sense what he's doing. And, um, you know, I'm not against tariffs per se. Uh, targeted tariffs. This country is dumping a commodity, uh, whether it be steel or any other commodity, you might put tariffs on it to protect the industries in your country because of what's happening. That's a useful way you use tariffs. Uh, a country's violating, a country decides to hack into your elections and you might issue tariffs um, because that's a good way to send a message that they have to behave differently. But the way he's using tariffs uh, right now without rhyme or reason is very, very difficult um, and we're not getting the result I think that he expected. And farmers in particular in Wisconsin are really hurting. Um, you know, I know that the president has said uh, he knows that farmers are hurting because of the tariffs right now, but he said he's got a package to provide relief to them. Well, I had a farmer who I've dealt with almost every year I think I've been in Congress, a very active farmer, was out in Washington, D.C. recently. And um, he actually told me that they're thinking about potentially selling the family farm after all these years of having a long family tradition in farming and what that package actually meant. And according to this farmer, if you're a soybean farmer, that assistance is probably 50 cents on the dollar. If you're a dairy farmer, it's probably two cents on the dollar. If you're a corn grower, it's probably a penny on the dollar. So it gave the president to say, oh, but I took care of people through this package. The bottom line is it's not at all. And the reality is the net effect is farmers are really hurting. So we lost 800 dairy farms in Wisconsin last year. I think at this rate, um, we could have a very serious impact in the, this year and the next year if these things don't end. This is a real problem, and in Wisconsin, um, it's felt far more than a lot of other places, and our farmers right now are living through the last set of tariffs, and uh, it's really, really hard. <laughs>